Welcome to one of our own, the FM21 series, where we're going to see how far we can take Kettering Town using nothing but youth intakes to bring players into the club. The boys are just getting off the team bus. We've got our first game of the season away at Hereford this afternoon. We've been through a few different tactical connotations during pre-season. If I'm honest, none of them have looked that good really, so... We're going with Tactical Plan 307 today. Even though most of the players on our books are strikers, wisely, we're only going to pick one of them and we're going to hoof it as high as we can into the air and see if he can win it. He's won the He's won the so here is that pre-season form. Admittedly, it's not glorious. There's as many defeats and draws in there as there are victories. In truth, the only game we won against a team that played at our level or higher was a 1-0 win against Chester. We have gone through many different tactical connotations. We've played three at the back, flat back fours, three strikers, two strikers, one lone striker. We've played playmakers all over the park, even in goal for a half. We struggled really to find anything that was creative and robust at the same time. The little chink of light. The last two games have looked okay. We've played the same tactic for both of them. It's the tactic we're going to go with today. But before we show you that tactic, we've got something else to discuss. Something I'd quite like your opinions on down in the comments, because if we're going to do anything at Kettering, then the quality of our youth intakes is going to be critical. And we already have a head of youth development at the club. This is Jason Thurland, who has a balanced personality, a working with youngsters attribute of 17, so pretty good. But his preferred formation is a 4-4-2. And I'm not sure we're going to be playing a 4-4-2, although at this stage I wouldn't rule it out. And that personality of being balanced is perhaps not the best personality for bringing through your youth intake, coupled with a determination of just six. Well, we've got a decision to make because our assistant manager keeps coming to us with his own suggestions of different head of youth developments that we should be bringing in. We could even dismiss Thurland and put an advert out for a new head of youth development. I'm not sure whether to stick or twist. Give me your opinions down in the comments and add in there. What do you think is more important in a head of youth development? Do we need somebody with a good personality? Maybe somebody with high determination in the hope it might rub off on the players that come through? Or is it that preferred formation that's more important? So the players coming through the youth system fit in with our tactical plan. Give me your opinions down in the comments. But... We're about to send the boys out for the game. So let's have a quick look at that tactic before we get out there. So here is that tactic. Let the criticism start. There is already a sweepstake as to whether we will even make it in this job to the first youth intake. I think those people that had November for the sacking might well be right. Eight of the players on our books are strikers and I am selecting just one forward in this tactic. Some of our better players I have shoehorned into roles that on paper might not suit them so well, such as this young man, Ben Stevens, who either wants to be an inverted winger or a number 10. But our other central midfield players don't really have any kind of creativity at all. So I'm shoehorning him back into the central midfield. He's going to play as a deep-lying playmaker, which he doesn't hate, but it's perhaps not his preferred position. Is going to have to go with it. Our best player, Johnny Hunt, who we play for most of pre-season in a fullback or wing-back position. Well, he is now going to go out as a wide midfielder over on the left. Over on the right, we're going to play a poacher. We've got Dakari Sheriff. Could he score when he played as a central striker? He could not. Could he hit a pig's backside with a banjo? No. But every time we play him out on the right as an inverted winger... Well, he's been banging in the goal, so that's the gig he's going to get today. We're bringing in this player, Michael Richens as well, who's going to try and give us somebody that's going to get up front and support the guy that's key to this tactic, Josh Oyinson, who is a six foot five inch target man, who we're going to be relying on to hold up the ball 
bring others into play to try and get us a goal. This could be any score, to be honest. During the pre-match press conference, they were speculating that Hereford, well, they're a relegation team as well. So this is going to be a good barometer of where we're going to sit this season because this is not a team that's expected to pull up any trees. We are going to pump our fists for the first day of the season, say, get out there and impress me. We are nervous given what we saw during pre-season you didn't watch it but we struggled to get an xg above a one in most games there was even a game where we scored three goals where we struggled to get an xg above a one so this could be a tricky little affair what have we got going on there we've got our central midfield three is the target man in early not even a minute on the clock and he wriggled through encouraging It'd have been great if it had hit the back of the net. Imagine what a star that would have been. But we got a corner. Hunt's on it. We set up some set-piece routines. They're very sophisticated. They involve trying to hit the target man who's six foot five, wherever he's standing. And I tell you what, that is our best start to a game in all of pre-season, even when we've been playing minnows. It counts for nothing if we don't go into half-time in the lead. We're thumping it forward. There's our hoof ball. Six foot five inch target man couldn't win that one. We got it again though. Here's Richens. Here's the, the player who's meant to be flooding forward from midfield. And there's the sheriff. His inverted winger roll means that he picks the ball up wide, cuts in, runs directly at people, looks for the target man, looks to play one twos. He scored a lot more goals in the few games he's played out wide than he did in the several he played as a central striker. And here he goes again. Crossing on his right foot, probably not the best idea. But we are doing a good job of winning possession back. Sharif looks pretty involved early on. There's the target man. That's it. That's exactly what we wanted the target man to, to do for the team. Back to goal, drops deep, holds it up, lays it off. And here's a player that really wants to be a left back. Playing as a wide midfielder out on the left. This was actually... Quite a nice goal. Oh, I feel a little bit better about life at Kettering already. We're 1-0 up. First day of the season. Away to Hereford. Granted, I'll repeat, not meant to be a great team. But look at that. Seven shots, four on target, and we're 1-0 up. I will take it all day long. A second before the break. What do you reckon? Too greedy? Too greedy. We've got nothing more before the break, not even a highlight. But I am no great student of XG, but I'm thinking that looks all right. That doesn't look too bad. We've restricted Hereford, the home team, to three shots not on target and an XG of 0 0.1. But we don't want to get carried away, do we? So let's point fingers and say, hmm... Don't get complacent. Always a favourite in FM20. It's motivated some of them. I think we might start with an early shout in this half as well. Demand a little bit more. Because if we could get 2-0 up. Well, we are looking like we could get an opening day victory. Oh, Sheriff's hit the bar. The Sheriff shot. He's missed. He's hit the bar. Still, this is encouraging. Okay, work to do on the corners. We've not trained any set pieces yet. We've been focusing on trying to get them into the tactic. Maybe we need to do some set piece training as well because I think goals from corners and free kicks could be big for us. Hereford are coming at us now. We're not even five minutes into the half. Close one. Close one. Okay, let's go with that shout. Let's demand more of them. I'm not sure whether that's made much of a difference. Hereford still haven't had a shot on target. We're getting to the 63 minute mark. Let's check on the tired legs first of all, shall we? Who have we got that might need a rest? Oh, Jack Turner, centre half. He is struggling. Let's go for the experience of Brett Sulkin at the back. 38 years old, a key mentor in the squad that we've set up. And we're into the highlights again. Colin, who has been very good during pre-season. We've got a good goalie at least. Worrying that he's 37. 
but he looks good. Here's Hunt, a bit lazy. But we're on the ball. Stevens is our deep lying playmaker. He wants to be an inside forward over on the left. We're playing him as a deep lying playmaker. No matter. Here's Sheriff. He loves it out there. He's dink one through to Richard. Stevens. Hunt again. Oh, we've hit the post again. That was that was an easier chance than the one he scored. Corner time again. Oh, our corners have been rubbish, haven't they? I spent ages setting these up. Let's shout at them again. Let's go fire them up. We need another goal. I do not want a late equaliser. Oh, we're into the... Oh, it's going to make a sub. We're into the highlights again. Hereford are on the ball. I do not want to get sucker punched. They're coming at us, though. He's gone past our right back easily. Get it away. Oh, no. This is exactly what we said. Ah, oh, sucker punched with 10 minutes left. They have not had a shot on target for 80 minutes of the game. They get one cross into the box. Who's lost their man? Ah, oh, there's two of you there. And McGrath, the left back, five foot ten, has been beaten easily. No, oh, defeat would be even worse. Then all the prophecies in the comments at the end of the last video would have been true. Sacked before Christmas, they were saying, here's our playmaker. Oh no, we've given it away again. Don't let him get a cross in. That's what did for us the first time. We've won it back. Come on. We've gone lot. Oh, there's nobody up there. What are you doing? Come on. Somebody put their foot on the ball and create something. What have we got? Here's the sheriff. He's going. He's off again. He's off again. Shoot, sheriff. Yeah, the sheriff shot. Oh, we were only... We're only pegged back for two minutes. The sheriff shot. We need to get it down to balanced, I think. The sheriff likes it out there. He is like a poor man's, a bankrupt man's Thierry Henry. He likes to get out there wide, drift in field. Okay, we are going balanced. We're at nearly two goals on the XG, by the way, as well. We've not seen the likes of that during pre-season. We've also got some very tired legs. John Hunt, gone. Let's get Ben Akwai on, who cannot dribble, but he's reasonably pacey. We're going to leave ourselves one change in case we pick up an injury late on. We need to get into the instructions as well. Where's that time wasting? It's on. Let's go. See it home. No, 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 no. Oh, no, we're, we've got the ball. And we're flooding forward. Two against one. Richens, the central midfielder, finish it, son. Ah, oh, that's what he's in the team for. Those attacking runs from central midfield. We look so one-dimensional in midfield during pre-season. That's why we've, we've moved that left-sided inside forward to play as a deep-lying playmaker just to try and get some creativity in the side it's freed Richens up to play as an attacking central midfielder and he's done all right at it what have we got in terms of the match performance or Yinsons look good Sheriff brilliant Fryer at the back not too bad right back a bit ropey central midfield three solid if not spectacular that's not a bad first day of the season though is it let's Put our hands together just cautiously and say, well done. Luke Graham was anxious about that. He doesn't like being told well done, apparently. But, all right, we will take it. Look at that. One game gone. We've got a victory. I think it's going to get a lot tougher from this point forward. But we've started with three points. Now, we're going to go away and we're going to play a few games. We want to try and get to that first youth intake as quickly as we can. We've got some progress to make in the FA Cup as well because we're going to need the money that that brings. We're hemorrhaging cash already. So we're going to go away, play a few games offline. We'll be back to see you next episode as we continue the march to that first youth intake so we can start trying to create one of our own.